Hey there, how's it going? Today I'm just kind of going out and I'm here at, I believe it's called Narbeck Wetland Sanctuary. It's literally right next to my work. Kind of go out on my lunch and see what I can find, if anything. I've never been here before, so fingers crossed. Uh, there's a lot of places that are completely new adventures. This is probably gonna be a pretty short, sweet, and to the point video, so, um, if you see any photos after this, then I guess it turned out okay. So in typical ADD style, I forgot to mention what I'm gonna be bringing with me. And actually, I brought, no, this is not a thermos. This is my big baby, uh, my 150 to 600. I, I like it for the potential of getting wildlife photography. It, it does some pretty interesting shots, or it gets some pretty interesting shots, even with street photography. So, yeah, I'm just gonna bring this, and I'm gonna bring my uh, 24 to 70, um, just in case I decide to record anything while I'm out there. So, uh, yeah, all right. See y'all later. Okay, we're back. So yeah, uh, didn't get a whole heck of a lot of photos uh, out at the uh, wetland there, but that's okay. Uh, one of the things I actually kind of like about uh, landscape photography and wildlife photography and stuff like that is there's not a lot to see. Well, so let me rephrase that. There is a lot to see, but you really have to look to make an image. Reason I didn't get too many images this time is because I was kind of on a time limit. Being out on lunch and then having to get back, it didn't really have enough time for me to get my photography juices flowing, so to speak. It's hard for a new photographer like me, or it may just be me to kind of find something that I really want that isn't just trees or grass or wetland. Sometimes those images turn out and they, they do okay, but I actually like to have some kind of substance in, in my photos. When I was coming back, the, the photos of the little bird, I spent probably a solid five minutes just trying to find that bird I'm partially colorblind, so that bird literally blended into everything around it. <laughs> and I could hear it. It was it was just a couple of feet away from me. It was maybe 13 to, you know, 15 feet away from me. But I couldn't find it. <laughs> and then it just happened to finally land on a branch. And the movement of it was what caught my eye and then I was able, it stood still just long enough, even though it constantly was moving and turning and, and being a bird, it, it stood still just long enough for me to actually get those, those couple of photos. I think out of all the photos that I took, um, those are my favorite ones. Nature makes you work for your photographs. I love street photography. I, I love going out to the Muckleteal Beach and Ferry Landing and, you know, capturing people on the beach or 
the pictures of the lighthouse or Ivers, the fairy, all kinds of stuff. But it's also easy because there's a very blatant subject. What I mean by nature makes you work for it is nature literally makes you work for it. You have to have a certain eye. You have to find interest in something that you might see every day, and so your eye kind of turns blind to it. I, I've been challenging myself to get out into nature more, find interesting subjects in the everyday that is nature, trees and flowers and all kinds of stuff, try and, and build that photographic eye a little bit more. And I think if I'm able to actually succeed in getting more interesting nature photography, getting street photography, building, architecture, um, portraits, uh, candid photos of uh, the community, all, all of the stuff that you see in the big city, the hustle and the bustle, where there's uh, hundreds, millions, billions of subjects. I think, uh, yeah, I think if I can start getting a grasp on nature, then getting a grasp on the city life, street photography, will be a lot easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Have a great night. Later.